Good morning, everyone. My name is Emmanuel. Today is that first day of December 2021. And I'm speaking to you from the beautiful city of Prague in the Czech Republic. Today, I want to share with you a very important topic titled Dreams and Talents May Not Be Enough. In life, dreams and talents are very important. You need to have a dream in order to have a, a target to have a plan on what you want to achieve. You need to have a dream to be able to have the energy to push through your goals in life. Talents are also very important. These are inherent abilities, what was deposited inside of you from creation. And it's your job to harness this talent and turn them into something that people will appreciate. But I, have you wondered or asked yourself, why is it that a lot of people don't fulfill their dreams in life. You have seen several talented people around you who you are surprised why they haven't used their talent to impact their world. That is because dreams and talent are not enough to make you successful. You need to do more. And I'm going to share with you why I said this. Now, dreams are very important, but it's only a dream as it is, if you don't turn them into action. You must understand that you have to learn how to activate those dreams and translate them into actionable you know, plans that will drive you towards your destination. If you have a dream to become something, you don't just stay there in the state of mental block or dormant and then just keep dreaming about it. You can stay there for all you like. If you don't activate that dream into actionable plan, then you cannot fulfill that dream. The same thing with talent. Everybody in this life has a talent. Doesn't matter how small or big it is. But the problem, there are two key problems with talent. Number one, a lot of people do not even understand what actually is their talent. And this is very key. A lot of people don't really understand what they have in them because they have failed to realize who they are and they are obviously chasing other people's goal in the society this is one key problem the second point is that people who even knew that they have talent don't know how to sharpen those talents and translate them into something that can impact their world so your talent are just mere talent until you can enhance those talents until you can sharpen those talents and translate them into something very tangible that can impact your world. That's when it begins to manifest. In other words, you cannot fulfill your goals in life if you do not manifest your talent. You cannot fulfill your goals in life if you do not set your dreams into motion. You have to make them actionable. And this is what a lot of people do not understand. You can sit in your house and dream all you like. Everybody has a dream. Everybody. But the key thing is that how do you make your dream become a reality? This is a key question you have to ask yourself. That means you have to be intentional. You have to first of all realize what are those things that you want to achieve in life. You have to be very stra strategic about them. What are those your talent that makes you stand out? Have you interrogated your personality? Have you interrogated who you are, your consciousness? Have you taken time to look inward and avoid all the noise around your society and begin to concentrate deliberately and intentionally on those things that makes you unique? And then figure out what you can do to harness those skills and make them even better. That's where the work is. You have to be deliberate, intentional, and consistent in trying to sharpen those skills in trying to build those skills and then make them attractive to people around you so they can see what is inside of you and then get attracted to you. I tell you, life is all about adding values. When you have what people are looking for, they will find you. I've always said this in various forums in my podcast, previous one in my YouTube channel, that when you have what people are looking for, they will find you. That means the real job 
the real job, the cross of the matter is in you identifying and discovering who you are. That's where the work is. Once you can figure out this, then find a way to enhance that personality. You have to learn how to surrender to who you are. Okay. You have to surrender to the talent in you. You have to surrender to the gift inside of you. Okay. So you are surrendering to something within you that wants to emerge. There's something that is trying to emerge all the time. Those inherent abilities, those talents are always trying to emerge. But because you are not paying attention to them, your attention has been shifted from every other external factors. And those yearning, those gifts are yearning to emerge, but you are suppressing them. Don't be an inhibition to who you are. So your talent must emerge. Your gift must emerge. Your dreams must emerge. I have to translate them into actions. And when you do that on a very consistent basis and over time, all these activities, your plans, your actions, your skills, your learning, your experience, your education, they will come into place and then make your success a reality. So, it's not enough for you to have a dream. It's not enough for you to have talents. They are fantastic. It's a good thing to have a dream because it sets you on the right path to what you want to achieve. But you have to do more. You have to make them actionable. And it has to be consistent, not random. And even when you have some stumbling block on the way to your destination, it's okay. Failure is not the problem. The problem is failing and staying there. That's the problem. You must learn how to get up from your stumbling block and continue to forge ahead because you are convinced of your destination. So any perturbation, any disturbance, any hindrances on your way cannot stop you. So do not dwell in your disappointment. Always get up and be resolute. When it comes to your life, your destiny, you must be stubborn. It's about mental toughness. Life is not for babies. You gotta be brave. And you have to be mentally tough to withstand every storm that comes your way. Because a lot of people are gonna doubt your ability. They're gonna question your desire. They're gonna say your dreams are not possible. They're gonna even doubt your ability to even dream at all. Friends will desert you. Family might even speak against you. Colleagues at work might even not believe in your ability. They might talk ill of you. It doesn't matter. These are some of the storms you encounter on your path to greatness. You must learn how to be tough and crush every stumbling block and crush every stronghold that is going to stop you from getting to your destination. And you must realize this is the only life that you've got. You cannot afford to blow it off. You cannot afford to waste it. And the universe is always waiting for your manifestation. What are you waiting for? The time is now. Don't just dream and sit there. Don't just dream and just stay there. Don't just have talent and allow your talent to remain dormant. You must sharpen them. You must acquire knowledge. You must acquire skills. You must learn how to make yourself a better version of you. Because the resources is always inside of you. It's not far from you, but you have to figure out how to bring it out by being conscious of what is inside of you and do not allow the external influences, noises in society, social media, computer algorithms to change the course of your, your life. You must be resolute, consistent, and intentional to get your destination. Don't flip flop. Your friends does one thing, you jump into it. You hear about one business, you jump into it. You cannot even stay in one business. You're all over the place. You are all weather. You have no focus. You're all over the place. You got to stay on the path. You must figure out what is your own path of life. What is my goal? What do I want to achieve? Once you are convinced, 150% sure, this is my path. Stay on it. Don't deviate. You might experience some difficulties along the way. Top lines here and there, that's okay, but stay on it. Do not derail. 
Consistency is key to success. So in life, don't feel that you've arrived because you have a big dreams or because you have so much talent here on top of the world. No, the real work is how can you translate those dreams into reality? How can you translate those talents into something that will touch life? That means you have to work assiduously. You have to develop yourself, get a skill, enhance your ability, and begin to take steps to make your dream reality. If you want to be a professor, begin to go to school, begin to study every day, begin to read books, get knowledge, do research, sacrifice some fun, and be in that mood of getting to your destination. If you want to be a businessman, learn business skills, innovation, entrepreneurship, invent, be inventful, okay, be adapt to changes, be creative, be always on the go. That's how you can make your dreams actionable. So I want you to understand that you must learn how to surrender to that thing within you because it wants to emerge. Don't be an inhibition to your own success. Okay. You are emanating of life. You are one with life. We are emanation of life, which can be God, love, intelligence. It is anything, but we are emanating. So do not inhibit the potentials in you. Once you have a taste of who you are and your potentials, then you will realize that you have more to give, more creativity, more is demanded of you. Remember, this podcast is designed to interrogate mindset interrogates opinion, interrogates perspectives and make us think differently and bring out the best in us. Because as I said always, when you have what people are looking for, they'll find you. And don't remember, the resources is always in you. And don't forget, I'm on a journey. Please come on board. Good morning.